Hello and welcome to another flight video. Today we will be simulating US Airways Flight 1549 which took place in 2009 and as you may know it ended in the Hudson. It was a successful water landing on the Hudson River. It uh, started in runway number four of the LaGuardia Airport in New York and after only two minutes, uh, three minutes of flight after a bird strike and a double engine failure, the captain managed to successfully um, perform a water landing on the Hudson River on the western side of the Manhattan Island. So this is what we will be simulating today. So let's have a look at um, at an extract from the Wikipedia page. Uh, of course, this flight was very famous uh, because it was one of the very few successful water landings with an airliner. And so this map that you can see here, uh, it, you find it on the Wikipedia page for this flight. And there you can see the flight path. So the beginning, this left, this, uh, uh, this left turn at the beginning, that was uh, according to the flight plan to, to fly from New York to, to uh, North Carolina for the first intermediate stop. And then over the Bronx, there was this uh, bird strike um, destroying both engines and the captain decided to do a sharp left turn to uh, try for different options uh, for an emergency landing, either returning to LaGuardia or for the Teterboro Airport in New Jersey. But it turned all up uh, that, it, that the altitude was too low for a successful landing attempt. So the captain decided to land this airplane on the surface of the Hudson River, which was successful. So all the passengers and all the crew members uh, survived the, this um, water landing and so we will try to follow exactly this historical flight path from 2009 and we can check later in the online map because we will be flying in multiplayer mode uh, so we will be online in the internet and this multiplayer map it uh, documents the flight path uh, as a dotted line so we can check if it fits more or less the historical flight path so we will have to do a sharp left turn um, at this uh, at the northern uh, end of the Harlem River so this will also be our point of orientation when we reach an altitude of 3200 feet you see that was the maximum altitude that this flight ever reached I will simply shut down both engines and activate the auxiliary power unit and let's see what happens then so let's get into the simulation first we uh, turn to a rear view and then of course we get into the cockpit engines are already running so we simply uh, we are ready for takeoff flaps position one we release the parking brake and do the takeoff so 40 percent of of engine thrust until both engines are synchronized and now we use full throttle Rotate, retract the gear, and immediately start our left turn with a 10 degrees pitch angle. Retract the flaps and continue our left turn with a 10 degrees pitch angle.
6,200 feet and shut down both engines. I'm losing power, so I activate the APU to regain electricity. There is the northern end of the of the Harlem River. And we do our sharp left turn. And I will try to maintain a, a speed of around 180 knots. Around 180 knots for a maximum glide path distance. We will be crossing the George Washington Bridge, which you can see below us. At the beginning of the flight, I'm uh, still flying over Manhattan Island, not over the Hudson River, because I want to keep all the all the different options, especially the option to get back to the LaGuardia Airport. Here on the left, you can see LaGuardia with the landing lights, but we are already too low for the return to LaGuardia, so... 2000. I will simply continue southbound and um, maintain a speed of 180 knots. And there are... In front of us you see the the Central Park and at the northern end of the Central Park I make this decision to turn right to be heading for the Hudson River to use the the Hudson River for the water landing. Still maintain a speed of 180, now it's 160 knots. So we will slow down the plane to touch down on the water surface as gently as possible. One thousand. Use flaps position two. Too low. Terrain. And while we are sinking, Too low. Terrain. I will increase the angle of attack to slow the plane down as much as possible. 500. To touch down on the water surface with a speed as Too low, low as possible, terrain. and also with a tail strike to to uh, touch the water first with the plane's tail above. and not with the engines. 300. So. Too low. Terrain. Minimum. 200. Terrain. That was it. There was a short red out because of the negative G force. And this is it. I think the real flight it touched down later more downstream of the Hudson River so I think it was even south of the Empire State Building so we are I think uh, on the on the level of the of the Times Square more or less so let's have a look at the map how we fared Here, yeah, this green dotted line, this was our flight path. See, we started in LaGuardia with a, with a pre-planned left turn, then the sharp left turn over the northern end of the Harlem River, along the shore of the Hudson River, and then in the middle of the Hudson River. 
So we're at the end of the we're at the southern end of the um, of the Central Park in New York. So it is more or less accurate what we did. Now let's do the replay so that you can get uh, an idea how this flight looked from outside. So we do the replay. the same flight from another angle, rotate, let's see we are north of Manhattan downtown, retract here and also flats. There's our reference point, the northern end of the, of the Harlem River. This is the this is the moment when the bird strike occurred and when uh, they lost both engines with a double engine failure and then initiated a sharp left turn to return either to um, La Guardia or to to evade to uh, the Teterboro airport which is located uh, on the western shore of the Hudson in New Jersey but it turned out that the altitude uh, was insufficient for both options so that's why the captain uh, decided to try this water landing and in the end it turned out to be the, the right decision so it was successful he, he uh, chose the best option here is the George Washington Bridge, so we are not really close to the George Washington Bridge. It was not uh, really close to a collision. He, was still, he still had enough altitude to cross the George Washington Bridge safely. We are over Manhattan Island here, not over the Hudson River. Trying to maintain a constant pitch angle, a neutral pitch angle and a speed of 180 knots. Here on the left you see the La Guardia airport and you can clearly see that the distance is too far to make it successfully to La Guardia so the plane would either go down here uh, in, the, in the Bronx or in the East River which are both not no good options so it is safer to try the water landing here on the Hudson. In any case, uh, the pilot has uh, only about one minute left to prepare for any kind of touchdown. So that's an enormous uh, pressure to, to make the right decision in a very short time while uh, aviating the plane, while keeping the plane in a stable position, which is absolutely paramount in that situation. So I think the golden rule for pilots is first aviate, then navigate, and lastly communicate. While he was also communicating with the LaGuardia ATC, 
which is uh, a lot of multitasking under enormous stress. So it is uh, a really uh, outstanding performance to manage all these things at the same time successfully when your life and also the life of all your passengers is in danger and even more lives maybe uh, by people on the ground. So we are now over the Hudson River floating with a low speed 160 140 knots and using uh, flaps flaps position oh, two great. to avoid a stall using a lot of um, pitch angle 15 degrees pitch angle to slow the plane down to the absolute oh, minimum great. and also to touch down with the plane's Think tail great. first and Pull not up. with the and Pull not with up. the engines Pull. So let's open the doors. In the real and the real flight, uh, the they opened the doors of first of all the uh, the front doors with the uh, with the emergency slides, which they used as rafts, and of course also those smaller doors here on the on the wings, so that most of the passengers were standing on those wings um, above the ice cold uh, Hudson River. It was uh, beginning of, of January, so the water was freezing cold. And uh, you can see in those uh, photos that most of the passengers were standing on the wings of the floating, of the floating airplane until they were rescued by some ferry boats. So here we are at the end of our uh, simulation video. I hope you enjoyed this little um, reminiscence to the successful 2009 water landing of US Airways 1549. Thanks for watching and see you again for, for another Flight Gear video. Goodbye.